I have a question for Al. Yes. So you being an OG, like David said, in the wrestling scene, and I mean that respectfully, seeing where the state of wrestling is now with all the shows, all the networks, all the stuff that we have going on, all the circuits, and seeing the way it was when you wrestled, are you happy the state of wrestling where it's at right now, or are there some things that you wish they would try to incorporate or change? Um, I'm not happy with wrestling at all. Most of us from old school days will not watch the new stuff. Um, really? It's just, it's not wrestling anymore. I mean, the, to us. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know. They always say, oh, yo, the, that's your wrestling. Yo, this is the new style. Well, your new style sucks. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. Oh, you, you know, like and, this guy. you know, I, I, maybe I heard it on this show from before where you said, you know, the marks became wrestlers and the wrestlers became marks. Mm -hmm. So true, but so sad. And, um, you know, it just is what it is. I mean, I'm thrilled that I lived kind of in the glory years, I call it. Um, it was good times. I mean, when you're facing the ultimate warrior, you know, Andre the Giant or Hacksaw Jim Duggan and guys like this, even Bob Backlund. Um, wow, what a thrill because these were real wrestlers back then. Now you've got a few out there, but for the most part, no, sorry. Well, well, we do got Damian Drake, man. Now he's, here. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> nah, he's no, up no, and coming, man. Good, so any advice you have to the younger generation here, Damian Drake, who is future stars of wrestling, uh, and making his name throughout the U S and like any advice that you have for the younger talent out there based on your experience in the business? Yeah, first of all, take the business seriously. You know, don't just be, oh, I'm happy I'm a pro wrestler. No, learn the business. Learn it inside and out. Uh, one of the things that I got chewed out early on in my um, in wrestling school, and, you know, my trainer told me, he says, yeah, yeah, you did like 25 moves in that match. Could have done 50. Could have done 100. You know, until you learn the psychology of the business, how to work, how to sell, and how to tell a story. Really tell the story to the fans. That's what we're missing. So my advice is really learn this. I mean, I did 37 years in the ring as a pro wrestler, and I've done almost 20 years as an actor. Mm -hmm. um, it worked for me, and I believe it can work for every one of you if you use it properly. So really learn the business. Like I said, I never took an acting class. Everything I did as an actor, and I've got, uh, what have I got, like 300 credits just from IMDb with stunts and acting. It all came from my pro wrestling background. Granted, the stunts, you know, more from the, you know, the stunt uh, from the wrestling side of it. But the acting, no. And But the, the, the training you can get from being a pro wrestler is invaluable.